What is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back into another video today's video is actually something I've been looking for quite for a while already because ever since I got this new PC I had issues on launching games uh, so far it have been games from Hyrus from Steam at 64 bits uh, we got Paladins we got Rogue Company Smite and even Ram Royale Ram Royale was even worse because even at 32 bits you couldn't even launch it now I already did a video on how to launch the games at 64 bits sorry not 64 bits 32 bits um because you can just simply go into the files and i can give you a quick little rundown we're gonna go here into paladins you would go into prop properties you go to local files open the folder and if i then fail there you would go to binaries easy anti-cheat launcher settings and then you would open it and change this to work at 32 bits Having the code for this to initiate a 32 bits would be completely ignored. It would not it would not work. But the issue with this is that you would play a 32 bits DX9. And if you wanted to play Realm Royale, well, surprise, you wouldn't even be able to do that. All right, the same thing would work for Smite and Rogue Company. Um, but finally, after this entire time since I had the PC, somebody reached out to me on Instagram. I'm guessing that they saw that same video that I'm talking about and they reached out to me to tell me that they figured that out and so they came to talk to me about it the the person i'm talking about is limo nera Limas. all right he's actually typing right now because i was thanking him and uh the the message was the following hey boss i looked at one of your videos which i'm, which I'm guessing that one was the video that i'm talking about and while across it i ran while across it i also ran across this thread on reddit so initially i was like okay maybe this is just one of those wacky solutions to change the files but apparently somebody was having an issue with another game i think it was mech warrior online at least it's what they're describing here and then once they figured out the solution it worked for smite as well and smite as i told you smite was having the same issue you would have to initiate a 32 bits from steam if you wanted to play 64 bits you would have to use epic games but you don't even have like ram Royale on epic games and some of you don't even want to play on on epic games all right some of you would even have to go and go into the website of hyrus and do the entire linking to pass the information from steam to epic games so it's it's quite uh, you know a, a bunch of uh, a work for nothing so um he did this reddit post explaining basically uh what was wrong and how did he fix it and eventually i tested it out and it worked out for every single one of the games now there are two different solutions um one will be more global so anything that you install in the future if it has this issue will be fixed and the first one is actually just a code on the launcher options which is what i'm going to do i'm not going to put the global sort of for everything that i install just because um i want to see what what games have this issue and solve it immediately by myself apparently this is an issue it's what i'm that he's mentioning here it's related to the open ssl and the new intel i believe i assume the intel but the new cpu chips i have one of the most recent cpus in the market right now all right it's from the 11th generation and all of this just adds up. It all makes sense. So, what he said, uh, he explained here exactly how the fix works. Um, you can go, you know, and do it exactly how he has it here. Or, you can do the command to put it on Steam, which is right here. I'm going to leave the link to this post in the description. I'm also going to leave the code in there. And big shoutouts to Drufus. Drufus 4600 since he's the one who did the post did the post i'm not sure if, if this yeah also shout out to she shire which was the one that ended up putting the code here um down he, he this was the person who figured it out this is the person who ended up helping us with putting a code just for steam on the launch options and this is the code right here and as you can see i'm gonna copy paste the 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 I'm going to copy paste the uh, the code. I'm not going to put it yet, just so I can show you exactly what happens. I'm going to open the game. This is Paladins, all right? We also... Same thing happens with PDS, which in another big uh, help, because PDS only exists on Steam, and some of you might want to play a Steam P uh, PDS, right? That's the only available. 
And so now it stops. Like it won't it won't continue. It will disappear and this will just stop. And there you go. And it's going to ask you if you want to play again. So after that, you after that you just put properties. You copy paste the the code that I'm going to leave in the description as well. If you don't want to have to go through the entire Reddit post and just trying to figure it out. All right. And after that, we close it and we play it. And now this will open here. Now, I don't feel like there's any issue with this. I even think that it will possibly close on its own i did close it before when i tested it out oh he ends up closing on its own so it's completely fine don't need to close it just let it go and now this happens which wasn't happening before which means it's passing through that little barrier there was even some people reporting that apparently if you turn off the internet it would work so i don't know what exactly this issue like who has the fault in this issue whether it is the, the you know the the creators of the new CPUs, whether it is Steam, whether it is easy anti-cheat, something has to be and somebody has to fix it because new people, new people, the, the, the people who buy the new CPUs, the new computers will be having this issue not only with high risk games because he was saying that he was trying to figure out the solution for another game that had nothing to do with high risk and this may be a big issue in the future. So whatever it is, they're going to have to figure it out. Here I am, I'm on Steam. Um, and just in case, you can see up there, 64-bit DX11. And just in case you think that this is not actually real, I'm going to show you. Realm Royale only exists on Steam, Discord, and... No, it's just that. Yeah, it only has a Steam and Discord. Both of them have the exact same issue. So, I'm going to try to play it. And it should not work. It shouldn't pass through this little thing this would disappear now and do nothing else unless i forgot the code in it let me just check no okay and now it should stop saying stop there you go so now go to, go to properties i'm gonna put the code i'm gonna close it i'm gonna go play as you can see the little command box opens in the back no need to do anything just leave it be and now going to do something that it hasn't done before and array open you can't see there it is the icon right there and it's open the, the window and we're in since i bought this computer i haven't been able to log into ram royale yet this is the first time after this entire time i've been looking for solutions everywhere and only now finally i got to get into the game that's my account. I'm on, on Rome Real. And yeah, I know that some people are going to comment, oh, Rome Real is that. Nobody cares, okay? The, the, the issue here... I shouldn't have done that. The issue here is that I couldn't even log into the game, and now we can, okay? That's the point. All right, the same thing goes for Rogo Company, Smite, and Paladin. So even if you're not interested on Rome Real fix or whatever, this will work for every single one of them. You'll have that code. As for the other uh, fix, which is more of a global fix, basically um, what they will tell you is to go into a specific place, into a specific uh, place of your windows and add this, this part right here, the variable name and then the variable number. And anytime you install a game that could potentially have this issue, it will just fix it. Okay. Um, the thing is, like, it's what I'm saying. Then you will never be no. You'll never have the, the the possibility to know whether or not this game requires that fix. So, uh, if it was me, I would just save it somewhere, or I don't know, maybe send it as a Discord message to a friend and pin it so you never forget it, and it'll be there uh, just in case. All right. Either way, this video is gonna stay up, and the command is gonna be the first thing you're gonna see in the description. So it also will be serving as a you know as a future reference code so it'll be there hopefully they'll fix it eventually and we're never gonna have to require this code anymore i'm also gonna try to forward this to for example hyris and so on to see uh if we can find a solution or maybe even steam i'm gonna still try to find out who is the real person to be blamed for this so that they can try to fix it all right but either way that's pretty much it for the video no need to use epic games anymore i know i already uninstalled everything from epic games the only thing i'm going to be using epic games for right now is for the free games like dead by daylight 
if you didn't know, yeah, Dead by Daylight is free right now on the Epic Games, so enjoy. But that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, have a wonderful time. And again, shout out to my boy Limo Nera Salam. <laughs> I can't read your name. Sorry, Limus. Thank you so much again for reaching out to me with this because I swear to God I was losing my mind. And shout out to these people that are on Reddit. Uh, they're, they're the true heroes of this, okay? Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.